Hey guys, uh, I'm going to set up uh, the Microsoft Teams rooms. So I'm going to set up I'm going to set up a Teams rooms using a Crestron hardware. It's, it's beautiful, elegant. As you see, this is a the Mercury unit I have. This sits on your conference room table. Right? It has a, the microphone speaker, the one touch microphone mute. You can just tap it and mute on mute. And this is the console. You can just walk in, and the user experience is walk in, and you just join your meetings. This works for Skype for Business and Teams. So if you are migrating from Skype for Business to Teams, uh, you can schedule both meetings and you can just walk in and, and touch and join the meetings, okay? So this works for uh, the both uh, platform. So behind uh, um, your monitor, you can you can you need to install this UC engine. Um, it has a Windows 10 Intel Nook right here um, that runs the, the Teams app. Uh, engine and um, they're all connect connectivity is secure so nobody can plug in anything so really secure strong built so I'm, what I'm going to do is just plug it in and see how uh, fast we can do this and how this works okay so let me show you the setup I have uh, two monitors it's going to be plugged in to HDMI um, we'll have a small camera uh, usually the Crestron has a Hurley camera but I have a Hurley camera and a sound bar so what is sound bar so this is a sound bar actually goes under your your monitor uh, if it's a large room right this is a huge audio device if you notice there's a camera right here it's, it's a hardware camera and um, it's it, it just so simple you can plug it in uh, you can mount on the back side look at this this is mountable all right so i'm not going to use this it's just kind of a big unit um, i'm going to have a space here but as you, you can you can think you can kind of you know guess it how that works um, because the speaker is built in, so I don't need that for now. This is this is mostly designed, I believe, for small hollow room spaces. Um, that is for you know, large rooms. So let's plug it in and how that works. Um, so first of all, this this flex, sorry, not flex, the the Mercury kit. Um, I'm going to plug in the, the network cable first, and you can see I'm going to plug in the network and. Plug in the power cable, mix the power. I, I, I believe you can do PoE as well, but I don't have a PoE here, so I'm just going to put the power in. And also, you need a, the USB, um, the audio cable, because this has audio uh, built in. And we can, hide, we can actually hide this wire, kind of make the hole on the table and go under your conference room, so it looks really neat. Just for demo purpose, I'm just going to put it here. Um, on the UC engine, this is UC engine, so you need a few cables, a power supply, and HDMI, and, and Ethernet, and that's it, right? So, I'm going to, uh, sorry, I'm going to remove this two screws, to, because this, this, this secures your cables, and so nobody, nobody can connect any, any uh, wires into it, so it kind of secures that. So, I'm going to do, as you see, uh, a good port, this uh, is Intel. No, I think it's a nook, right? So, all right. Um, once that this two is done, I'm gonna plug the HDMI. One is a the HDMI. I need a cable, special cable. It's called a I think it's a USB C to HDMI, and one's the HDMI. So it's actually two outputs in there. It's nice, and I have two monitors plugged in. And I'm going to oh, I need an Ethernet cable. And internet goes in here, and you see, all right, so that is done. So I'm going to secure this, and plug this in. All right, on the back side, there's a USB port. All I'm using is for the speaker, um, this wire for the, the, the mercury on your conference room table. And plug it in, and then I'll secure this, and let's see. See. Okay. All right, that's done. That's it. It's SDMI Ethernet, and all I need is a power. So plug it in, and ready to go. This is it. All I need to do is configure the unit for the, the account. So you'll see on, on the screen here, it's trying to connect. This is the IP address on the corner. Um, you see, this is the IP address of this, this unit. Um, you need to uh, go to browser and connect to that IP address. Log in as I think the default password is, um, well, I'm not going to say it, just check in your manual. 
uh, may change in the future. So log in as a default password, whatever it is, and change the, the IP address of the, the Intel NUC. All right. So you need to connect from this one to NUC. So what, what I did here um, with the MAC address of this and MAC address of this in my DSCP server, I statically assigned that IP address it doesn't change. Um, and so every time this boots up, it gets the same IP address. Um, that's something uh, you may want to do it. I highly recommend it for me uh, because I don't want to have you know things boots up and this UC engine gets different IP address and this is trying to connect different IP address and, and doesn't connect. So that's something you need to take a look. But that's it. Um, once that is done, um, power on. So now you get a setup setup screen. Okay, so this is a um, Teams room setup screen. So what I'm going to do is let's quickly set up this. Check the box and hit next. I'm going to let me type it my my login name. So by the way, before I do this, I created a um, Teams rooms account um, in my Office 365 tenant um, using a Microsoft Teams rooms license. Um, once that is done, your account is ready to use. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, there is another video you can follow that I posted. And it, you can just follow that video and you can create that in less than two minutes. Okay. All right. So I'm logged. I'm just putting my credentials. And you'll see um, at the supported meeting mode, I have the Skype for Business and Teams default. I'm just going to select that. And let's go to the, the next session. Let's, uh, the password did not match. Let me type again. All right. Okay. So this should match now. Yep, it matched. Now, now next step is microphone for conferencing, which is a digital audio interface, um, and Crestron Mercury speakerphone. Uh, echo cancelling speakerphone, okay, and then C speaker is whatever the speaker connected with, right? So this is a, sorry, um, Crestron Mercury, and dual mo dual monitor mode. You select that. Once that is done, and hit next, and you want to, you know, you see in the background, the, the background you can change the way you like it you to make it other rooms or uh, whatever, you know. The choice would be hit next and that's it hit finish so it's now it's trying to sign in into the teams and let's see in a few seconds uh, this should be ready to go all right so this is ready to go um, you know logged in so this is what it looks like when you walk into the conference room there is a join button and that's all you got to do right so the meeting is scheduled through outlook right like you do and invite this Zoom, it has this unit, and you walk in, press the join button, and you joined. There we go. So you're the only one here, there's nobody in this meeting, so I'm going to join from another machine, to kind of share the content, and you'll see how it looks. All right, so go to my Teams, and I will join now. All right. Okay, so you'll see my video in a few seconds, We're starting now. There we go. So, hello. I am using another machine to, to fire up my video. And I'm going to share my content from another machine. Uh, share my desktop. So you can see, I'm sharing my desktop in one of the screen. The video in the other. The audio coming from the speaker. There's a, the camera in here. This is it. I mean, it's, it's simple, right? It's really beautiful, elegant. This is the only thing you'll see in, in your conference room device. And it's really simple to, to deploy. I'm kind of um, surprised. Okay, this is it. Um, you know, rest, you know, how, what we can do and add participants and mute and pin the video and a lot of other things. Uh, please uh, watch my other videos to follow and uh, you'll get more information. Take care. Bye.